Okay, that's new YouTube. You just manage your page, come to you live, live on YouTube. And for you that have, you know, one of, I consider one of my favorite um, female bodybuilders um, that comes from the Great White North. She's um, a Canadian um, FPB. And I'm a big fan of Canadian FPBs. I think they just seem like it's like with European bodybuilders and Canadian bodybuilders, they kind of have that same quality would come out the muscle. But mass and size, it just it's just some great legends that came out from Canada. You know, like Laura Benetti and um Marita McCola and you know, it's a it's a long list. Yeah, I probably um uh, will do a video about my favorite bodybuilders out of Canada. But anyway, um this is one Miss Wendy McMasters. Now Miss Masters is an amateur bodybuilder. She never really got as far as a pro, but she did in her last waiting years of the competition get did get a pro card, but she didn't compete afterwards. Now, she was born um, December 31st of 1969 in a small little town outside of um, Niagara Falls, Ontario. Now, you know what Niagara Falls is? is there's two Niagara Falls. Niagara Falls in Ontario, and there's a Niagara Falls around New York. So, you know. But she was born on the Canadian side. Now, it's not much known about her um, early years before that, you know, how she got into bodybuilding. But from what I know from her story, that she was originally was a stripper. Now... Some people would be like wondering, how do a female bodybuilder get a stripper? But I'll tell you the story. Well, she was in an abusive relationship in, when she was younger, and she got tired of being tossed around, thrown around like an like a, a animal. So she decided to get into to the, um, lifting. Now, at that time during lifting, you know, she um, met an, another gentleman who was at the time suddenly become a professional bodybuilder himself. Now, the gentleman, um, some years later on, died just before he just right after he gained his pro card and um before he first um, co competition as a pro now during this time um wendy wasn't sure about competing she just was um working out just to be working out and she enjoyed the lifestyle of of, um, of um, being a bodybuilder but you know after the death of her boyfriend you know she um decided to um get into bodybuilding full time now you know, she is, she often credits her, her success to one uh, legend I just mentioned earlier, Laura Benini. Laura Benini had a gym at the time and she was working out at that gym. And um, she really, you know, respects Laura Benini. Now, her first show was back in 2007 at the Mississauga Championship. She was level one. She took first place at the Open Women and first place at Master Women. In the same year, she, she competed at the Northern Ontario Championships Level 2, where she took first place as heavyweight woman and first place as a master's woman overall. Then on on, she went on the Ontario Bodybuilding Championships, where she took second place as heavyweight and first place as, as a master's. The uh, Canadian Bodybuilding Federation, you know, that's like, that's like the Canadian version of the IFBB, where she competed at the Canadian Bodybuilding Championship. She took fourth as a heavyweight and fourth as a, at the master's. Now, masters are like older female bodybuilders, you know, sometimes, you know, that's just, you know, ranking the age and stuff like that. Now, in 2008, she competed at the IFBB North American Championship. She took 11 at the Open Heavyweight um, of Division. That same year, she came back in the C, C, uh, CBBF, Canadian Bodybuilding Championship, took fourth as a heavyweight and third at the Masters. 2009, she competed at the CBF, which took eighth as a heavyweight and fourth at, 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 um, as a woman masters. Then she competed the IFB North American, which took fifth as open heavyweight, and sixth as a heavyweight master. 2011, she competed the Canadian um, C CBB and took um, tenth as heavyweight and seventh as a master heavyweight. Then she competed another show at the uh, mm, in the uh, what's that um, the uh, Another body been a show, and she took fifth as heavyweight and third as the Masters. At the OPA, the Ontario, um, uh, I would say, <laughs> at the Ontario um, Championship, she took the first heavyweight and won the overall. Then it, she took some time off and came back, back up in 2014, competed at the Canadian CBBF, and took the overall title. Then took the Masters 35 plus, heavyweight first, then the lightweight, heav light heavyweight at first, and the Masters overall. And after 2015, she just kind of bowed out from bodybuilding. 
you know. And one thing about um, with uh, her background as being a former stripper, you know, she did a lot of videos, a lot of um, um, of, of photos. I mean, you know, she just, I mean, <laughs> and this is one thing like, like most bodybuilders who became bodybuilders, you know, usually they get breast implants after a few years but she was the one that when she came in she already had if you notice the her uh, picture stripper picture you notice she already had breast implants when she came into the sport which is you know and that was the thing was like she did like a little like a, a pick bounce trick and she was really good at it and if you check out um also youtube also a couple of channels just do a google search of winning masters and she does in her videos are very are very sensual videos i'm just i mean they're very sensual videos fellas i mean uh who is just you know she has that she has that you know she's five three petite i like the petite smaller body but it seems like they can just put on better muscles because her body's so compact i mean you know and she does a lot of um, little tricks and stuff like that you know that's, that comes from her stripping background i mean that's you know that's something you pull from you know and bring to body especially when you pose it like you ever see if you ever watch her pose performances she does a lot of she does a little trick like uh you know how um like she does a lot of Piss, like a pick bounce which takes like a like a you know how like a marionette um marionette marionette thing where she does like with puppets and she's like take a fan's hands and she's moving like like uh she had a breast on a string but it was a great tricks but she is a i think she's a very attractive woman great great um definition muscle uh, i've seen some pictures of her she's still in great shape you know she's also uh has a little background power lifting you know, you know, powerlifting was also a passion of hers also. There's no records of how much she weight lift or anything like that. I don't have that information, but, you know, if you feel like you want to do a search, just like I said, just search when you're at Master. You know, you can find a lot of videos and photos and guys, you know, I know some of you guys don't like, don't feel body reels, but you know what? She's very, a very attractive woman, very sensual. And, you know, that's what made her so popular in her videos and her photos, you know. And the thing is, you know, I always feel like she's one of those that, Mm, I feel like she never got a shot to get to be a pro, but I think she left because she enjoyed the sport of bodybuilding, but she didn't like all the uh, the bull crap and all the other um, hugging with rule come with it and hoop jumping just to get to the, get a pro card. But I think she's a, I think she's one of the greatest fewer bodybuilders come out of Canada. And you know what? I hope she's doing well. And you know what? It'd be nice to see her come back once in a while. Just pop in and just do a little something, you know. Maybe some guest pose or whatever. Well, if you may enjoy the page, like, subscribe. Don't like to scrap. I'm out.